Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So I've made up this function here, f of x. Let's just say this, this is a function of f of x. Now my question to you is, what is the graph of y, um, what, what, what is the, uh, the function 3 f of x look like? Okay, so, um, so roughly sketch this, uh, this graph here. Um, it, it doesn't have to be all neat and perfect. You can, you can just do something like, like this. Um, let's say uh, one, uh, do, just do something like this. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so, so one here, and then, and then this is, a, it has a gradient of one. Um, and, and then and then this is another semicircle here, and so on. It doesn't have to be perfect, but given that this um, this function here is uh, f of x, I want to know what um, what the graph of three f of x will look like. So remember, when when you have uh, three, so here you can you can imagine as a bubble timesing another bubble here, and this bubble here is your original function, and then you times it by three. So what? Well, anyway, press pause and um, and have a go. Okay, so um, uh, so at the moment this is a function of f of x. Now you want to know three f of x. So select some vital points. I would say this is a vital point here. Where uh, when well at, at this point here f of x is zero. Now zero times three is still zero. So th so so this function here when when you have three f of x here at 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 um at when x equals one, it this here is still at zero because it well it's still at zero here. If if you look at this one here, it's um f of x would be would be one, but but then because you want to, to draw a graph of f of you want to draw a graph of three f of x, it means that well the normal f of x is um this bit here at, at this point here is one. But because you want you want to know three times the old function, it will be it will be three times as much. So, so the new point will be up here. Okay, down here because it was already zero. When you get you when you get zero times three, it's still zero. So it's stationary. It's still it's still stationary here. If you look at this point here, this point here will be still will, will be here. This point here will be will still be here. Um, well, whereas this point here, because it already has an initial value of one, then one times three it will take you. To three, so your your new graph will, will probably look something like this. It will get stretched upwards, okay. And then this here, um, the old function f of x here, uh, f of x here is minus one. But then because you're because you want to investigate f uh, three f of x, then this at the moment is negative one, and then it gets dragged down here. So this is your new point here. So your your new graph will look something like this, okay. And then for this point here, I will just select. Any point here uh, at the moment. Let, let's select this point here. Um, so here, f, f or f of x at this point here is is uh, two. Okay. Now because you want to investigate three f of x, it's going to be six. So this point here, hang on, four. Uh, let's say this is five, and let's say this is six here. Uh, this point will get will get moved up to here. So uh, so this so. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm going to need to clear this up. So so it will look something like this. Okay, hang on. Let let, let me clear this up. So here, um, one f of uh, um, f of x is one here. Three f of x will be up here. So so your graph here will look like this, something like this. Okay, and um, and hang on. Let, let, let me tidy that. Up. So so this point here will be moved up to here. And remember, anything on zero will stay. We stay at zero, so it will be something like this, okay. And then if you look at this point here, it will be uh, at the moment it's negative one, so it will be negative three. So it will be something like this, okay. And here you you could choose this point or you could choose this point here. Well, this point here we worked it out earlier to be six, so I'm going to guess five here, uh, six to be around here. So six will be up here. So your new your new um, function will look something like this, okay? And then and then do the same for this bit here. When uh, when it's negative four here, it is negative three, uh, and then negative three times three. Well, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, somewhere down here, nine. So so this point here 
will get moved down here. So your new point will be down here, and then you've got to join. But basically, it will look something like, like this. It will look something like this. Hang on. It will look something like this. So, so your new function will look like this. Okay. Um, it will look something like this. But let 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 me illustrate what's going on here. So, so remember when when you if you have f of x here. And uh, and you want to investigate three f of x. Everything will get stretched upwards here, okay? Um, and then down down on the negative, everything will get stretched downwards uh, by by a factor of three. So if if you look at this here, see this at the moment? Well, that's going to get dragged up by by three. So hang on, let. Um, well, it's going to get dra uh, stretched by three. Sorry. So at, at the moment, it's this, okay? Now we we got to basically move this point to to this point here. So wait there, hang on. Oops. So so it's going to be something like this. Uh, hang on. Hang on. It's not working properly. Wait there. Um. Hang on. Hang on. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Oops. Okay. Hang on. Okay, so at the moment you've got this thing here. Okay, we need to stretch that. Hang on, let, let me just erase this. Okay, at the moment you've got this thing here. We need to stretch it by a factor of three. So we need to move it from, from the one here to the three here. So, okay, so now let's stretch this. So it will, your new function will look something like this. Okay, uh, and then at the bottom, we, we, we would do the same at the bottom. So uh, at the bottom down here, I I'm going to use this point here as a. Uh, I'm going to hang on. I'm going to use this point here as a reference point. So um, so this one here, I, I would need to stretch it by by three. So at the moment, it's negative one times three it will be negative three. So I need to move this point down to here. Okay. So hang on. So at the moment, it's this. Okay. So now um, now let's stretch it by a factor of three. So hang on, stretching it by a factor of three would look like this. Something like this, okay. Um, hang on, let, yeah. So so your 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 new function would look something like this. It's not perfect because uh, because the, your line should still still be thin. This one here is a bit fat, but uh, it, it will look roughly like that, okay.